Hey, Shalom, brothers and sisters, and Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. It's your brother, the raw Hebrew, coming back with the um, with an interesting lesson. And uh, this particular lesson I want to talk about today will be the ten plagues of the nations that will um, that will proceed the uh, age of righteousness. Currently, we're in the age of uh, wickedness. We are in the age of lawlessness. And these judgments are going to have to come. You know, we all know that uh, in the days of old, Yahweh had uh, smite Egypt with plagues. But in the times to come, these nations are going to be plagued. And being that we are we're in the land of the north, in North America, we're reaching our 400th year. Well, at least for the southern tribes coming over, starting in uh, 1619. We're reaching the 400th year, okay? of the transatlantic slave trade starting to bring the southern tribes over here and uh we all know that the you know there was 10 indigenous tribes over here you know we've been scattered honestly israel has been scattered since even when jehovah had walked to earth so the rabbit hole runs deep on that but we're pretty much re reaching the 400th year um of, of, of uh slavery starting in jamestown virginia that portion of it at least and what we're going to be seeing very soon is judgments and we're starting to see it now you know you've seen these locusts in mecca you know you've seen like calamities like every week is some type of calamity going on somewhere in the world earthquakes tsunamis you know the lord is really just getting started and what i want to do is read y'all 10 of the plagues that are actually going to befall the nations the heathen nations indeed uh, it is written you know and i'm going to be reading out of the encyclopedia of the lost and rejected scriptures and I'm be reading out of the Apocalypse of Abraham, okay? I'm going to start at chapter 29, and I'm going to uh, start at verse 12. Okay, we're going to get into these plagues. And I'm going to be cross-referencing uh, some scripture from the Bible as well to, to give a full, you know, try to give a full understanding of this, okay? Let's start at verse 12, chapter 29, Apocalypse of Abraham. Before the age of the righteous begins to grow. My judgment will come upon the heathens and the lawless people through the people of your progeny who have been separated to me. So Yahweh basically saying the judge, his judgment will um, come against the heathens and the nations and the lawless, you know, people through the people of Yahweh's, uh, excuse me, of Abraham's progeny uh, that has been separated to Yahweh. Okay, so. What is one of the verses we can think of to cross-reference this with? You know, off the top of the head, uh, Ezekiel 25, 25th chapter, verse 14. You know, and that's specifically talking about uh, the nation of Edom, but it's, it's, it's somewhat applicable. Let's just go there real quick. Ezekiel 25, verse 14. And I will lay vengeance, and I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. And they shall do in Edom according to my anger and according to my fury. And they shall know my vengeance, saith the Lord God. Okay? So, that's a nice little cross-reference right there, man. Because according to this, before the age of righteousness begins to grow, Yahweh's judgment will come upon the heathen nations and the lawless people through the people of Abraham's progeny who have been separated to Yahweh. Okay? Because we all know if we precept uh, the book of uh, Zechariah, you know, the 13th chapter, verse 8, that two-thirds of, of Israel is not going to make it. So there's a portion of our people that's not separated to Yahweh. They, you know, and if we pre, pre, uh, preface that with Revelation 18.4, we know that they're going to partake of the plagues. The plagues that I'm about to get into, um, a lot of our people are going to partake of these plagues, okay, with the wicked. Why? Because they're holding hands with Babylon. They're holding hands with the ways of the world. They're not being set aside to Yahweh. Okay? So they're going to be receiving these plagues. So let me continue. Let's continue to get into these plagues, man. Okay? Um, let's go to... Uh, we're at 29. We'll go to verse 13. And in those days, I will bring upon all creatures of the earth ten plagues through misfortune and disease and the groans of their of their bitter grief and this will be bought upon the generations of men because of the provocation 
and the corruption of mankind because they provoke me. Okay? So when we see a lot of these things that are about to come upon the earth because the time is ripe. Okay? As we see these evils rise upon the earth, we must know that it's why because the world is essentially, not even essentially, the world is pro provoking Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, man. Even King David said, I think it's uh it's in the book of Psalms. They have made void that law. It's time for you to work. It's time for the Lord to work now because people have made void the law of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, man. We just saw that Grammy with the with that with the uh with the um with that black dude wearing the uh Wearing that tuxedo dress, an abomination, man. I keep seeing that posting up on social media. You know, I don't really tune into the Grammys or none of these shows. But, you know, the lawlessness is really kicking up in these last days, man. And this is why the slaying of the Lord is going to be from one end of the earth to the other. Okay? Because this has to be a purging. And it's going to be a purging. And this is how Jehovah Bosch and Jehovah Shah is going to purge. He's going to send 10 plagues upon the earth. And it's going to destroy these wicked jakes. It's going to uh, destroy... Uh, millions and millions of people, man. And I'm going to continue. And then the righteous men of your progeny will survive in the number uh, or amount or count, which is kept secret by me. And will hasten the coming of the glory of my name to that place prepared before, before for those you saw destroyed in the vision. Okay. So Jehovah is going to save a, a certain amount of uh, the progeny of Abraham. He's going to, they're going to survive. Okay, they're going to survive these 10 plagues. There's going to be a, amount, a small amount of Abraham's progeny that's going to survive these 10 plagues. Okay, I'm going to read over it one more time and continue. And then the righteous men of your progeny will survive in the number, amount, or count, which is secret by me. And will hasten the coming of the glory of my name to that place prepared before for those you saw destroyed in the vision. And they will live and be established by the sacrifices of righteousness in the age of the godly. And they will rejoice in me continually and receive those who return to me in repentance because their inner torment will be great for those who have wrongfully misused or mocked them in this world. You know, these people who are going to get cut off in this age, because we're in the age of lawlessness right now. The next age will be the age of righteousness and the age of godliness. Th these people are, these two thirds are going to come back in their shame, man. And we're going to feel bad for them. Okay? That's basically what they're saying. We're going to receive those who return. It says, we go ahead and start at 14. Let me read it slow. And they will live and be established by the sacrifices of righteousness in the age of the godly. That's the next age, okay? Comma. And they will rejoice in me continually and receive those who return to me in repentance because their inner torment will be great for those who have wrongfully misused them in this world. So we're going to have mercy, you know, on these st stupid two thirds who are eventually going to figure it out. They're eventually going to figure it out and they're going to come back to uh, to shame and um we're going to keep praising Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, like we always have been, you know. In the next age, we're probably going to do it even more so. But, oh, that's Satan, man. I'm going to have to put my phone on Bluetooth, for, uh, uh, cut on airplane mode. Why? Ah, oh, my goodness. Okay, and of course, see, that's Satan, man. Satan really enjoys working through our spouses. You know, that's a way that Hashaytan really tries to get to us and get us off the path. He'll work through your spouse, you know, but it's okay, you know, because we, we keep our spiritual eyes open and uh, we keep pushing, man. You know, we keep going for this truth. But I'm going to go into uh, verse 15. And they will see the honor bestowed on those who are mine in the day of glory. So there's going to be a separation, you know. Those who will come back to everlasting shame because, uh, you know, they wrongfully misused and mocked the elect in this world. In the next age, in the age of the godly, they will see the honor bestowed on those who are mine, which is who are, who belong to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah. Okay, that's the 144K, you know. So um, let me continue. Abraham, see what you have seen and hear what you have heard and take knowledge of all that you have come to know. Go to your inheritance, for behold, I am with you to the age. We're going to go to chapter 30. 
While he was still speaking to me, I found myself on the earth again, and I said, Eternal one, I am no longer in the glory on high. Because, you know, Abraham was actually chilling with Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. He was in vision. He was actually walking with him. He went to the heavens and was and was communing and supping with the Lord while he was revealing to him the mysteries of the progeny, the mysteries of Israel. Okay, that we're actually coming in this. This is what I'm about to read is what we're coming into now. And we need to understand this. This is what we're coming into now. Okay. Now let me continue. Chapter 30. I'm gonna start on verse 1. While he was still speaking to me, I found myself on the earth again, and I said, Eternal one. I'm no longer in the glory on high. Still, there is one matter which my soul longs to know and understand that was not revealed to me. And he said to me, I will explain to you the things you desired in your heart to know, which are the ten plagues that I prepared against the heathen nations, which I have been destined to begin at the passing of the twelfth hour of the age of the earth. Okay? And this is what we're about to come into. The ten plagues of the Gentile nations. You know, these are the judgments that the world is going to have to face, man. The last video I made was the 12 plagues of tribulation. This is the 10 plagues of the nations. Okay. Now I'm going to continue here. Therefore, what I tell you, because it will come to pass. The first is the sorrow and pain of need and sickness. The second is the massive burning and destruction of many cities. The third, the destruction and pestilence, the sickness of animals and cattle. The fourth, hunger of the whole world and its people. The fifth, among the rulers, destruction by means of earthquake and the sword. The sixth, the increase of hail and snow. The seventh, wild beasts will be their graves. Animals will kill them. The eighth, hunger and pestilence will change their course of destruction. They will alternate hunger and pestilence. The ninth, punishment and execution by the sword and flight in distress. The tenth, thunder and voices and destructive earthquake. Okay? I'm going to go back over these things. But I'm going to continue for now. Chapter 31. And then, okay, and after these things, after these things I just read to you, after these ten plagues of the nation. And then I will sound the trumpet in the air and I will send my elect one and he will have all measure of my power. He will have one measure of all my power. Who do we know? Who is this, y'all? This is Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. This is the Lord. He will summon, now verse two, he will summon my people who were despised from all nations and I will send fire upon those who have insulted them who have ruled over them in this age and those who have chosen my desire and kept my commandments will rejoice with celebrations over the downfall of the men who continued to follow after their idols. And I will make those who have covered me with mockery and give them over the scorn of the coming age. I prepared them to be food for the fires of Hades and be in perpetual flight through the air of the depths of Hades, which is the underworld, and they will be the contents of the worm's belly. For they joined one to whom they had not been given to, and they abandoned the Lord who gave them strength. Okay, now I'm gonna go back over this with some cross, -ref with some cross reference here. Sorry, I'm trying, I'm sitting in my, I'm sitting in my car doing this. I don't really got too much space to work with here. Cause this daggone book is like, man, it's like an encyclopedia, man. Okay. So this, this kind of cuts the, the, the uh, pre-tribulation rapture doctrine, you know, uh, the Lord's going to come back, obviously, you know, after what I just read, he's going to come back, uh, in the midst or after, or he's going to come back during these plagues, man, the plague, the plaguing of the nations. He's going to deliver. Okay. He will deliver my people. You see what I'm saying? He will summon my people who were despised from all nations. And I will send fire upon those who have insulted them and who have ruled over them in this age. 
We're coming to the end of this age. If you don't see what's going on with Venezuela, Russia, China, Iran, Syria, even India getting in it now, man. It's getting crazy, y'all. This is the end of this age. We should be glorifying the Lord, okay? Because it's, what we need to really do be doing is spiritually getting ready, okay? Because the times that we're coming in, it's going to be like no time ever before, okay? Now, I'm going to go back over... Devil, man. Damn, that's Satan. I hate when I get interrupted. <sighs> keep it in the spirit. I'm going to keep it in the spirit. Okay? I'm going to keep it in the spirit. Because I got to... I would have put my phone on airplane mode, but there's some references I have lined up online. Some scriptures I already have lined up, and I want to start cross-referencing them. Okay? Let's go to Matthew. Let's start with Matthew 24. 21 okay for then shall be great tribulation such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time no nor sh ever shall be okay let's go to verse 22 and except those days should be shortened there should no flesh be saved but for the elect's sake those days shall be shortened hallelujah okay call hallelujah how about you how shall and if we correlate that with what i've just read um between the 10 plagues of the nations and then following that or in the midst of it it says and then i will send i will sound the trumpet in the air and will send my elect one my chosen one and he will have all measures of my power that is yahweh okay and if you, you, i just correlated that with matthew 24 verses 21 to 22 the lord's gonna have to come and shorten these days okay because the days weren't shortened no flesh would live no flesh would live through these plagues that the Lord is sending to these nations. Okay? Okay? That's how bad it's going to be. Um, now, let's, let's go back up to these plagues one more time. Let me comb through them real quick and get some cross-references, okay? So, we're going to look at the first plague. The first, is, uh, the first is the sorrow and pain of need and sickness. Okay? It's not too hard to see that. <laughs> you know, it's starting to go on in the world. The second is massive burning and destruction of many cities. Okay? This seems to be like a doctrine going on. Okay? That, like, the nukes are going to go off and it's just going to be over and then the kingdom's going to come. Not necessarily, y'all. That's, that's, that's partial. That's not 100%. Okay? Because this destruction and these fires... Okay, and the destruction of the cities through these fires will be done by nuclear bombs, but that is not the end. That is not the end. That is part of the tribulation. That is part of the judgment. Okay, that's not the end all be all. You know, keep in mind that the slain of the Lord will be will be great from one end of the world to the other, and the, and the bodies will be heaped up like dung in the streets, man. These nukes are going to help achieve that. Okay, but that's not going to be the end. Keep in mind the second address, and I think it's a. Uh, this is in the chapter 15 to 16. It talks about how men will be few on the earth. Okay, how there'll be uh, two t uh, like ten to a city and two to a uh, to a field, man. Yeah, these nukes are gonna help accomplish that. So it ain't like these nukes are gonna go off and it's gonna be all over with, and then the kingdom's gonna come, and then you then nah, that's not what's gonna happen. These nukes are part of the judgment. They're, they're one of the plagues. And I'm going to prove that we're going to go to Zechariah uh, chapter 14. Okay? And this shall be the plague. Where, let's go 14 verse 12 and on. Okay? And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. And their eyes shall consume away in their holes. And their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. And it shall come to pass in that day that a great tumult from the Lord shall be among them, and they shall lay hold every one on the hand of his neighbor, and his hand shall rise up against the hand of his neighbor. Ooh, think about it. So after these nukes go off, people are going to lose their damn minds. There's going to be mass death, and neighbors are going to start rising hands up against the neighbor. Verse 14, And Judah also shall fight at Jerusalem. And the wealth of all the heathen round about shall be gathered together. Gold and silver and apparel ain't in great abundance. Ooh, think about it. We're going to take the kingdom. 
That I might as well get it. I might as well get it. I might as well get it. The righteous are gonna, the saints are gonna take the kingdom, y'all. That's gonna be a new video. I'm gonna do that, man. The saints shall take the kingdom. <laughs> We're gonna take it, man. Daniel 7 18. But the saints of the most high shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever and ever, even forever. We're taking this kingdom. But we're waiting for Yahweh Shah Hamashiach to rise up to the prey first. We gotta wait for the Lord to plague these nations. Okay? That's what we gotta wait on. You know? And the Lord told us when we start seeing these crazy things going on to look up because the redemption draws nigh. We can get that. Okay, let's get that. He said, when you see all these things, it's in the book of Luke. Let's go to Luke 21. And when you see these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draws nigh. Luke 21 and 28. And we can correlate that with this, uh, with the 10 plagues of uh, the Apocalypse of Abraham, chapter 30. You know, those 10 plagues, and then in 31, it says, And then I will sound a trumpet in the air, and I will send my elect one, and he will have all the measure of my power. He will summon my people who were despised from all nations. Okay? And we know that he's going to come in the middle of war. It's going to be like World War Three out here. Okay? And he's going to, he's gathering the nations to the valley of Jehoshaphat to defeat them and to destroy them. Okay? That, that's what it's all, that's really what's all, that's really what's going to happen. Um, it's going to be, now let's go back to the third plague. You know, we went to the massive burning and destruction of many cities, which is a plague. It's not the end. It's not the, the end to it all. It's not the end of it all. It's not. It's partial. It's, it's part of the plagues. Okay? Let's go to the third plague. The destruction and pestilence of animals. Okay? So the Lord's going to strike these animals too. They're going to get it too. Let's go to the fourth. Hunger of the, of the whole world and its people. Famine is coming. Famine is coming. Okay? Famine is coming. The Lord is gonna is gonna cut this electricity, man. And when it happens, this water is gonna get contaminated. The Lord is gonna send uh, meteors and stars and in, in, in the uh, to hit this earth, man. The Lord is gonna dissipate this atmosphere, and this and this earth is gonna be pounded by by space rocks, man, and stars. Seriously, and it's gonna poison the waters. People are gonna die from drinking this water. The crops are going to die because they're going to get burnt up through, through the nuclear fire. The world is about to be a, a nuclear wasteland. Volcanoes are about to pop. It's, it's great destruction. It's, 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 it's not. Okay? Now, let me just continue. Uh, the fifth among the rulers, destruction by means of earthquake and the sword. So the Lord's going to take down a lot of these wicked jakes and these wicked rulers in this time. You got to keep in mind, these ten plagues of the nations are our judgments. This gorgeous, okay? The increase of hail and snow, okay? When I say hail, it's H A I L. It's gonna be a lot of hail and snow, okay? The seventh, wild beasts will be their grave. Animals is gonna start killing people out here, and all in the spirit, you know, brothers been bringing this out in the spirit, man. These animals are about to have a smorgasbord, man. They're gonna, they, you know, and, and we're gonna go to Ecclesiasticus, also known as the book of Sirach chapter 39 okay we're going to cross reference this okay chapter 39 we're going to start at 28 there be spirits that are created for vengeance which in their fury lay on sore strokes in the time of destruction they, they power out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them okay let's continue fire and hell and famine and death all these were created for vengeance okay Ecclesiasticus 39, verse 30. Teeth of wild beasts and, and scorpions, serpents, and a sword, punishing the wicked to destruction. <laughs> That's what the Lord got up his sleeve, man. Let's, let's complete it at uh, Ecclesiasticus chapter 39, verse 31. They shall rejoice in his commandment, and they shall be ready upon the earth when need is. And when their time has come, they shall not transgress his word. So these animals are gonna man, the Lord's gonna put the spirit on these animals to start tearing you wicked jakes up, man. These nations up. 
you know, and it's sad because two thirds of our people are going to fall with this, you know, and be subjected to these plagues because they're holding hands with the world. That's that's why we should be coming out of the world, you know, <coughs> you know, really should. Let's go to the eighth plague. Hunger and pestilence will change their course of destruction. They're going to alternate. Okay, hunger and disease. Hunger and disease. And disease is going to be out here because the, the bodies are going to be heaped up. There's going to be nowhere to bury them. This is going to be heaped out, heaped up, decomposing, and mad disease and pestilence is about to be is about to be prevalent out here. You know? This is what this is what is coming. Okay? In the night. Punishment, execution by the sword, and flight in distress. People and I had a I told you about the vision I had. Where everybody was just so chaotic and everybody was running every which direction. It's going to be like that. You know? And that is a plague. That is one of the plagues. It's going to be punishment by the sword and flight in distress. People are going to be kicking it, man. People are not going to be knowing what the heck is going on. They're going to be running for their lives. They're going to be getting put to death. These FEMA troops, these martial law troops, the Lord is going to cut them loose. You know? This, this is what's going down, man. And this was written, this was discussed with Abraham. And it's crazy because we're living in this day. We're living in this day thousands of years later, man. This is before there ever was an Israel. Israel didn't exist yet in a physical manifestation. This is with Abraham. The Lord was telling us with Abraham. That lets you know, man, that Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, the Alpha and Omega, man. He has all of this already written out, ready to go, man. He is, is, is always, it's, it just shows you that time isn't linear. He's the all knowing, all seeing, you know? All this is written before the what? what? The foundation of the earth. And we're living in, we're coming into this time, brothers. The time like it never was before, it never will be again. So we must get right, okay? And I'm gonna talk about that. That's how I'm gonna close it out. Let's go to the 10th plague. Thunder and voices and destructive earthquake. That's coming, okay? That's indeed coming. Um, you know, I think I touched, I touched on pretty much all the scripture that I wanted to touch on. That I wanted to cross-reference. You know, we can go on and on. But these are the plagues that the Lord is about to bring to this place, man. You know, but let me let me close it out. Let me go ahead and close it out at the last chapter, which is only like three verses. The last chapter of the uh, apocalypse of Abraham. Okay, chapter thirty-two. Hear me, Abraham, because you will see that in the seventh generation from you will go out into a strange land, and the heathen will enslave and oppress them, and they and they leave a land of the oh, Salakia. That whole book is huge, man. Sorry, brothers. Me, me, re, me. Let me reread that. Okay, chapter thirty-two. Hear me, Abraham, because you will see that in the seventh, in the seventh generation from you, will go out into a strange land, and the heathen will enslave and oppress them, and they leave the land of their slavery after they have been mistreated for an hour of the age of ungodliness, and the heathen nation whom they will serve, I will judge. So we're coming up on the 400 years. The Lord's telling Abraham, and we know that from to be true in the book of Genesis, when uh, when the darkness came over Abraham, when he had that nightmare, okay? The Lord told him then, your, your progeny will be enslaved and treated very badly for 400 years. We're coming to the end of this 400 years. The truth is out here. And that means it's, it's open season for uh, the exodus, the second exodus, and for utter destruction, utter destruction to hit this earth, man. And in the, in the Lord's, he's running out of patience. Yahweh Vashem, Yahweh Shah. This, the sealed, the ceiling. I believe the ceiling is done. We're just waiting on Yahweh to make his move at this point. But he's going to come at the perfect time. And he's going to bring this destruction. He's going to bring this destruction and he's going to come and save his children out of it. Okay? There's no pre tribulation rapture. What people consider the pre tribulation rapture is the 144,000 being sealed. Because even the 144,000 are gonna are gonna need to be around in the time of these tribulations, okay? Why? How do we know? Because 
when the locusts, for for example, when the locusts got released from the abyss, when hell was busted wide open by wormwood, okay, and these demonic locusts were led by what? Abaddon, Apollyon, okay, and they had authority to torment all the people who had what? Not the seal. So all the people who didn't have the seal of the living Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah were able to be tortured. So that lets you know that the 144,000 is going to be here during uh, that particular plague, man. Because demons are going to be uh, released too, you know. But um, that that's that's the uh, that's essentially the rapture. Only 144,000 people are going to be getting the seal and getting the early divine body and getting the early covenant. That Yahweh has with, with Yasharala, which is the law, statutes, and commandments being put in them to be made perfect. Only 144,000 people are going to have that, man. Now, let me continue. I'm going to close it out. So, the Lord's going to bring his, uh, the Lord's telling Abraham, chapter 32, that, um, that his children will go off to a strange land and heathen will enslave and oppress them. Okay? And then after, the, after their slavery, the Lord said he is going to. Jer he's going to judge them Okay And they leave in the land of their slavery After they have been mistreated for an hour Of the age of ungodliness In the heathen nation Whom they will serve I will judge Okay And the Lord said this too Have you heard Abraham What I told you Which your tribe will encounter in the last days Abraham heard and accepted The words of God in his heart Okay Oh yeah so that's how that ends, you know. And and you know these things have to come to pass. There's no, t I mean, it might tarry, but we know to look because these things will come to pass. It has to, because it was written before the foundation of the earth, man. And knowing this, you know, we should be praying every day that we may be counted worthy to be the one of the elect. You know, um, the reason why I haven't been posting uh, videos for the last week is because I've been working on myself. You know what I'm saying? Um, I've been praying. I've been doing some intermittent fasting. Um, I've been detoxing. You know, I've been addicted to cigarettes on and off for over 15 years. I'm battling that now. I'm facing that demon. And I'm praying and I'm fasting. You know, I haven't smoked. So I've been doing good. But um, that's that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to clean my garment because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is coming back for, for his elect with, with no stains, no 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 spots on the, on their garments, man, on their spiritual garments. So, you know, one of the things that we can do, you know, as brethren is look in the mirror, man, and see what we need to do, you know, to keep that oil flowing through us, to keep that Ruach flowing through us. And the Ruach will let you know, the Ruach HaKadosh, man, the set apart spirit, the Holy Spirit will let you know what you need to do to better yourself. You know, with me, it was my profanity, you know, I had to repent for that, you know, bringing out the message of the Lord with much profanity. I had to repent for that. Cause you can't bring what's carnal into what's spiritual, you know what I mean. So that's still. So I'm still being reformed. We're all being reformed in the spirit, man. You know what I'm saying? These cigarettes. That's definitely something. You know, the Lord pretty much told me my spirit. You know, it's time. He, he's not suffering it anymore. It's time to leave it alone. So I'm leaving it alone, man. I'm walking away from it because it's not worth condemnation. It's not worth not having the seal, man. I want. I want that seal, man. I want. I want to be one of the elect, man. That's the attitude we got to have, man, to reform ourselves and always be willing to at least. But all right, brothers, you know, I have, have, have a distraction coming to the door. But, um, you know, hopefully you were edified by this video, you know, Shalawam and um, uh, Yahab Bashem, Yahab Shah Barakatha to the brethren and the sisters who may be listening. And uh, stay prayed up and keep working towards, towards the kingdom, y'all. May as well be done in this kingdom come. Shalom.